Hi there, everybody. Welcome to tonight's Ethiopian and Eritrean cooking live stream. So excited to have everybody tuning in. My name's Carrie. I am City Market's Assistant Outreach and Education Manager. I'm the one who's been sending you all of the emails. Um, so nice to finally meet you, at least this half of my face. Um, super excited for tonight's class. This is the only time that you're going to see me on screen. I'm going to go behind the scenes after this. Um, and I will be in charge of the Q&A box. So if at any point during tonight's class you have a question or a comment, you can type it into that box. I'll go back and put announcement in it so you can see where that shows up. Um, and I will see those and then can read them out to our instructor, Mulu. Um, if you're joining us a little bit late, you can always hit live. It's down at the bottom near the play pause button and that will catch you up to where we are rather than making you start watching from the very beginning. Um, so if you're joining late and just hearing this, go ahead and hit that live button and it'll catch you up. Um, I think without further ado, I'll turn things over to Mulu, but at any point, if you have questions, just let me know and I will ask them of Mulu. Mulu, take it away. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming tonight. I'm excited to do this dish with you. My name is Mulu Tawalde. I'm originally from Eritrea. It's East Africa, but the food represented by Ethiopia and the Eritrean food. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for City Market. They invite me again and again. I'm excited. I hope you are with me inside here, but hopefully you are sitting with me. If you don't have the ingredient today, please try next time. This is delicious dishes. And for sure, you have onion, tomato in your fridge. You can do it. So yeah, we're going to start. I just wash my hand and we have onion. We, we need onion for the ingredient. You can use red onion or the Yellow onion is fine as well. We need tomato and then we need jalapeno. Of course, we need jalapeno for my old dishes almost, except the spicy one. Then this is rosemary and then we need garlic and then we put ghee. I'm not sure if you're familiar with ghee. Ghee is a clarified butter. I just made them myself. Um, this is, and you don't even need to use oil if you just you want to use butter. You can use this one too. So in the clarified butter, they have fenugreek, coriander, and then cardamom, onion, and garlic. This is it. Then, but we're going to, to start, we need a little bit of oil. You can use canola oil or vegetable oil to begin. And then the spicy we're using today, it's berbera. Berbera is a blend of spicy with a lot of seasoning. So it's some um, chili pepper with about 12, between 10 to 15 ingredients inside seasoning inside so if you can manage it if you want one spoon it's less spicy if you want more hot you can add it more spicy this is it so let's start the onion we're going to dice the onion big dice not small one then that's it and while we chop in i just want if you have any question feel free to type i would love to answer as much as i can yeah, somebody has already asked, is it possible to make this vegetarian? Oh, yeah, you can do that. You can do tofu or what else? Or fish, I guess. Oh, you can do, no, you cannot eat fish Some if you are vegetarian. Some, okay. yeah. yeah, you can do uh, other things, yes. The base is almost the same, then you can change it to different. Or this, we cook in lamb today, but you can do beef if you don't eat lamb. Or if you don't have lamb around, you can do beef. Mulu also has a bunch of events coming up in the Burlington area if you are local to us. And I will post a few links in the chat. Yeah. Um, a really great chance to eat Mulu's cooking, which I'm excited for. So I'll post those in the announcement box as well. Yeah, please come visit me. One of the events I'm doing, I have three events coming up this end of this month and two in February. I'm excited to cook. <laughs> And thank you if you are around here in the video, my customers, because of you, I'm doing what I love to do. And I always appreciate you for coming and supporting. And it's fun to cook and people is eating my food. Okay, let's do this. I love the knife. I don't have this beautiful knife like this. <laughs> We have someone who says, I love Ethiopian food, but I can't deal with spicy food. How do I make it great, but not super spicy? Oh, you can use curry. If you're planning to cook lentil, for example, instead of using berbere, in fact, the berbere is you can manage it as much. You don't have to put too much, but 
you can use curry and turmeric so um, that's another uh, seasoning we use for mild we call it alicha alicha means is not spicy but still is ethiopian eritrean food i hope that helps yeah, I think you've done that craft with us before, the, the curry lentils. Yeah, so it's very simple. You, mostly the ingredient in ginger, ginger, garlic, and onion. Then any beans, the lentil is a spilled lentil. We use a lot of that instead of the big beans. Yeah, you can do that vegetarian. And then if you want meat, still you can do the meat as well with the curry and turmeric. Either vegetarian or meat, you can do mild dishes. You don't, it doesn't have to be too spicy. And I told people, if you try my food, I don't think it will burn your mouth. It's a good heat in your mouth with flavor, but it's not something burn your mouth. You don't enjoy the food. So try, keep it try one day. I hope. Try. So this one I just turned on. It's getting warm, the, our pan. So we're going to put our onions soon here. Until this one is heating, we can peel the garlic. Yeah, and the other great thing about this class is it's a great, fast, easy weeknight meal. So mm -hmm. there's a chance that we might not go all the way till seven unless people are asking tons of questions. Yeah, we might wrap up closer to 630. Um, so people can get to their own cooking dinner if you're in our time. Zone. Exactly, and thank you for your time spending, giving me time to spend with me. I'm excited. I wish you can come here and it's not covered. We can cook together and we share the food together, but unfortunately we cannot do that for a moment. Hopefully it will be changed soon. <laughs> Hopefully. I miss cooking in this kitchen. I know. I'm using about five egg garlic. Five cloves garlic, not head. <laughs> yeah, so I just want to tell you why I cook and when did I start I can share with you maybe some of you can bag again for my cooking now hopefully you don't feel tired of listening to me what I am repeating but I've been here for 16 years in Vermont um like I mentioned I'm originally from Eritrea it's in East Africa it's from northern Ethiopia so I it's just by experience. I didn't go to school to learn how to cook. I learned from my family member, but it just came slowly, slowly. It's become habit and loving and enjoying it. So I do one event monthly, that's must. I do take out dinner from local kitchen. So you just, you buy ticket online in seven days. Then you pick your dishes. I have vegetarian option, gluten free option, and meat option. So hopefully you will try it one day. There you go. So our pan is nice and warm now. Just put it in compost. I can put this one on to start with the oil. There you go. Wooden spoon. So I'm waiting just maybe two, three minutes and I'm going to add the oil and then dice it some garlic. And if people are watching and um, would like to tell us where they're watching from, that's always fun for us to figure out the, the spread of, of people watching us tonight. You know, normally when we cook in person, it's only people who are in the Burlington area, and we found that our virtual classes are reaching a lot further. So, if you want to share, go for it. Yeah, I would love to know where you're watching us. That's why food is connecting us because wherever you are, because of this food, is we connecting. And I always say, my food, <laughs> food is connecting the people. There you go. I'm just dicing this garlic soon. You were just telling me you did how many pounds of onions for your upcoming? Oh, 25 pound onion. <laughs> I just, I use the food processor. <laughs> I mean, peeling is a little bit pain. Yeah. You have to cry. <laughs> but the food processor, I say, thank you, my helper. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I make it ready for Monday. I have events. 
I have leftover from Monday. I use it for next weekend. Yeah, it's a lot of onion I use for the base when I cook a lot of dishes. Everything I'm doing is from scratch, except tomato. Sometimes I use the canned tomato, but everything is I chop it and from scratch. So, okay, we're going, let me wash my hand. We're going to put some oil in our onion and garlic. We're going to add. We've got a lot of uh, Vermonters watching us, but kind of all over Vermont. We've got Randolph, North Bennington, Burlington, and Middlesex. Nice. So Thank welcome. you all for coming. Thank you for watching. Some of for this. Says they love your food and your classes. Oh, so thank you're already you. Popular. I appreciate a lot. It's um, it's a cozy to cook today. It's, as you all know, it's a little cold. So it's perfect to eat a little heat food today. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil because soon as we're going to put a little bit ghee or clarified butter at the end. So I put a little bit of oil just to start. And then I'm going to add my garlic. We also have St. Paul, Minnesota and Sacramento, California. Ooh, send us the warm weather. <laughs> and then we have a question. Somebody says, why do you add the onions dry to the hot pan and then add the oil? I guess a lot of our recipes start with oil and then. With oil. Yes, you can do both ways, but I usually sometimes the onion, this one is look dry onion, but some onion they have wet. They're about special the yellow onion, it's wet, so I prefer it's a little bit dry before you put the oil. Yeah, but if you prefer to do the oil heat first, then put the onion. That's the same. Too. This is I'm going to add the garlic. And we're going to wait to brown it about 10 minutes. While this one is chopping, I'm going to cut the lamb. It smells good already. Who doesn't like garlic and the onion? Hopefully you, everybody say yes. <laughs> okay. Let's put some gloves and use for our meat. So we are using lamb today, but uh, like I said, you can do beef or if you are a vegetarian, you can do tofu. What else they can do for vegetarian curry, you think? Um, what do they call the other one close to tofu? A lot of people is eating it now as protein. Uh, do you sell them here? The, Which one is, what is it? It's not tofu, but the other one. So, oh, seitan? Yeah, yep. a lot of people ask me if they can use that, and de definitely you can use that too if you are vegetarian. Not so if I'm you're just, gluten free, though, because it's basically pure gluten. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's not gluten free because it's from wheat, but it's at least they are vegetarian yeah? or vegan. <laughs> so, the beef I'm just cutting is uh, like a bite. You can see it maybe too far. And then Going to add soon. Okay, just getting a little bit brownish. Give it another five minutes. We'll add our meat. Anybody can cook this food. It's not something complicated. It's not fancy. It just needs time. I know it's a little time consuming because you have to prep a lot of. This is a, for a small amount, but if you cook for a big amount, you need a lot of onion, maybe more beef is to cut, more lamb to cut. It's a little time consuming, but it's very simple. It's not. If you see it today, I don't think you will forget. Hopefully, you will try it one day. If you are doing it today with me, please let us know if you are cooking with me too. There we go. It already smells amazing in here. It's yeah. just onion. I know the garlic and the onion is yep. so good. Yeah. Three minutes maybe. We're going to add it's already nice and brown. Yeah, and if people do make this recipe at another time, we'd love to see um, pictures. Send us photos. Oh. We'd love to see how it turns out. Yeah. We'll show you ours how it's end. So you can send us. In fact, when I do cooking class um, before COVID with a person, I got a lot of pictures from people. They send me, I cook for my son, I cook for my parents. I just feel good. And they do it better than me when they send me the picture. I say, oh my God. 
and they stand me when I'm hungry. And say, this is not good. And just if you get, they learn something from me, and then they cook it, and I really enjoy watching it. Somebody asked us, um, what cut of lamb are you using, shoulder or leg? And this is actually lamb that was sold just as lamb kebab or lamb stew meat. So it's already cut into those large cubes. I'm not sure yeah. what it started as. Yeah. It's sold as lamb stew or lamb kebab. Yeah, you can, this one is from City Market. I think it's already in the package for the stew or kebab. But when you, if you buy leg, that's fine too. Um, Leg, leg, leg. Yeah. Yeah, without no bones, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use that too. Okay, so this is about to be ready now. This is a one pound lamb. So the onion is ready, the garlic. I hope you can see it from the camera a little bit. So I'm going to add it, the lamb now. Take my gloves out and I can. Love the glass when you catch me. <laughs> okay. So I just add the lamb. Hopefully you can see it from camera. So a little bit, then we're going to add fresh ingredient, tomato, jalapeno, and rosemary and salt and pepper. We can check it in two, three minutes before then we can brown it a little bit. Then we're going to chop the tomato in. We just wash it. Everything is rinsed and ready. So we're going to cut this one. There we, go. we had somebody ask if you're going to be showing us how to make injera tonight. And that's not oh. on the schedule for tonight. Lulu brought some already made. But um, if yes. you go to our class page and look at our virtual classes, Mulu has done an injera class for us in the past, and you can yes. watch that video back. Exactly. So I will put that link into the chat for everybody in case you want to. Yeah, if you have the recipe with you, it's a little bit between number three and number four. So number four have to be number three, number three have to be number. We added the uh, lamb first, the meat before we add the spice and tomato. So, yes, I don't want you to feel a little bit confused what I did. Yeah, I, the injera is a little bit time consuming as well. We, you need one class. You cannot do injera while you're cooking the dish. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll do it maybe late spring, how to do it in injera, but we did it, like Carrie said, you can go to the website. I think it's maybe last, last year, um, the beginning of last year, we yeah. made some class. Last March. Yeah, so you can, uh, Check it's very simple than Jera to one time maybe it doesn't turn well or second time. Keep trying. All you just need a starter. Any yeast maybe. Then you can do gluten free injera or just with the wheat, with the egg flour. If, if people wanted to use canned tomatoes for this, would that work? It work. Okay. Usually when we do these dishes, we use fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. But yes, work too. There it is. This is jalapeno. I hope you like jalapeno as well. We'll give it a good hit. <laughs> I don't usually like spicy food, and I like Lulu's food. So the person that asked about spicy. <laughs> yeah. I make you love it. You used to come up for my cooking class before we start working mm -hmm. here. <laughs> yep, before I worked here, I used to come as a, a student. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is almost getting ready. We'll At wait. the old building, remember? At the McClure Center. Yeah, we had the city. they didn't have kitchens <laughs> before. I can't believe it. It's more than five years I'm here in City Market. I think I'm getting old. <laughs> no, never. never. But I'm always, every time I come, I feel like new. I feel like excited i never feel bored coming and oh. sharing this food so we love um, having you thank you thank you yeah time go fast yeah yeah i've been more than five years <laughs> there we go this is i think any if you don't if you have kids you don't want to ask to add the barbaric the spicy you can leave it without no barbaric just you can do the rest ingredient so the kids can eat it with rice with any kind of bread or if you have any 
favorite um, gray like you can you can use that or bread or wheat bread white bread so anything go with this dishes there you go. if you want to eat the way it is you can eat the way it is you can make salad in the side as well and um, yeah it's almost there we'll give it another three four minutes we're going to start adding the berbere and the tomato jalapeno you don't need to overcook it you have to just cook it right amount okay i'm going to wash my hand i touch the jalapeno i'm coming back okay <laughs> there before my Smells so nice in here. I wish we had smell a vision. <laughs> I know. We'll just have to come eat Lulu's food. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry if you're hungry watching this one, but hopefully you will try it one day. Excellent. Some, you can add a little bit of So the berbera, you can manage it. It's say two teaspoons. You can add more, you can add less, or you can not to do it, just you can do it without without the spicy as well. So I'm going to put two teaspoons. I will add more, but for today it's okay. <laughs> for me, you're being good. Yeah. <laughs> I have to be nice for Carrie. <laughs> okay, this is looking good. Spicy food's good when it's cold, makes you sweat, makes you warm up, you know? Yeah. I'll deal. I so like tonight with the wind. Excellent. This is it. This is the faster dishes. Usually, when we cook our uh, other dishes, you cook it very slow, and then you use more onion. It takes more time to cook. This is the faster dishes we do. Yeah, that's why it's a great weeknight dish. Yeah. You know, home and have dinner on the table relatively quickly. Yeah, you don't have to plan it. Like when you cook like the chicken stew and beef stew, you, you need day off or <laughs> or long day or weekend. But this one, like you say, you can do it any evening. So let's wait a little bit. Then we can add our tomato, maybe another five minutes. Yeah, Mulu's done a bunch of classes for us. So if you're interested in learning more about her cooking, you can go onto that site and she's done her store a lot, the chicken. She's done the yes you go a lot, the beef. Yeah. She's done lentils. And so. mushroom dishes for the yeah. vegetarian. You can check the mushroom too. So somebody asked us, can Berberi and Angera be purchased at City Market? And we have um, the teeny tiny slice companies, Berberi. Yeah. We don't have Mulu's. Don't carry Angera right now. <laughs> But uh, you can contact me if you yeah. really need my injury, I can make it happen for you. And um, yeah, you can email me if you're planning to cook some Ethiopian Eritrean dish, you're looking for the injera, I can do that too. I'll put Lulu's website in the chat. Yeah, please follow me. Mostly I post in the Facebook page. I have the Mulu's Kitchen. You can see it when you go to my website, you can like my Facebook then. You will see what, when, and where I cook. So this is good enough. So I'm going to add tomato and jalapeno, and we're going to add rosemary. The tomato is very big jump, <laughs> extra large, but that's okay. You can use a little bit smaller too. Okay, perfect. This is looking good already. The color is looking. I hope you can see it. There you go. Very colorful, yeah. Yeah. So give it to cook another few minutes. And then rosemary is my favorite. It smells good, especially when you buy the bunch, not in the package, but in the, the bunch. Know, yep. Yeah, the bunch. It's really smell the difference. It's two different smells. So I'm going to put this much for now. And it will give it good flavor, good smell. I really love rosemary. Okay, let's give it another five, seven minutes, and we can add the ghee, salt, and pepper. 
then we'll show you how we eat it. <laughs> Somebody has Sorry. commented that um, recipes for making berbere, you can find them on the internet too. So you yeah. Can your own. Yeah, you can make your own berbere too, yes. For sure, you will find the great the um, seasoning in whole um, uh, wholesale or the or like city market. And if you closer to healthy living, or if you live somewhere for like wholesale food, most of the ingredient they sell them there. You can grind yourself everything, or already is grind. So you will find them there. Go. Also, a really great Ethiopian Eritrean cookbook at the Fletcher Free Library that I'm going to remember yeah. what it's called, and it's got a recipe for bearberry in there. Yes. Don't remember what it's called. In fact, uh, we did that cookbook with the library, and everybody have to cook from the recipe from the book. So um, it was colorful we have about maybe 12 13 people all of them they cook one dish from the book uh, if you go to my facebook maybe you will see the picture the four pictures so i was so happy to taste how people can change the flavor a little bit i use this instead of this you know they change it a little bit because they couldn't find the ingredient on the list so it's really really or you can check it in the library uh, it's just called oh, Ethiopia. Yeah. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Everybody cook amazing. Perfect. This is looking good. Our stove is a little bit slow today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have a gas or maybe a cook faster. And this is it. So we're going to add some butter. This is smells so good. And this butter, you can use it for bread, some type of bread, or basically you can use it for any dishes. Maybe Carrie, she can post it how they can make um, clarified butter. It's yes. I'm putting a half teaspoon of salt, not too much. And then we can put a little bit of peppers. There's a link in the chat for how to make your own spiced clarified butter. Mm -hmm. um, somebody okay. says, how do you get the lamb to be so tender? Too many times I find that my lamb chunks turn out tough. Oh, tough. Because you don't have to cook longer. When you, the more you cook longer, it's for some reason, now we're going to turn off soon. This one is going to be soft, and that was the question. Mm -hmm. yep. Did I answer your question? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the more you cook it somehow, I don't know, it just dry, and then. And then this is really nice. So we almost, we keep it maybe between five to seven minutes. Then we'll be ready. You don't need to add water. We usually we don't add water. If you think it's so dry, depend maybe some fresh meat like this lamb have their all, it's watery a little bit when it's cooked, it come out, and the tomato is kind of juicy. You don't we don't add any water when we cook this dish. But if you think it's so dry, you need a little sauce. You can add a little bit of water. So maybe this one, it doesn't say anything in the recipe, but this is a grind parnama. So we're going to put it, it smells very strong and good. Any meat you cook or lentils, you can use, you can grind parnama and use it for seasoning. It just give it good. You don't need to use a lot. Maybe it's quarter teaspoon. Is there any cardamom in your berberry recipe already? Yes, okay. already. So this yes. Is just yeah. Spiking it up. Just this is at the end will give it a good more flavor. <laughs> nice. I love cardamom. Yeah, it's one of the ingredients in Berbere is 
Yeah, and when you clarified butter as well, you need that. Yeah, they have in the clarified butter, in the Berbera already. But when you put the Berbera, you don't test all individual seasoning. You just test a little bit of heat with flavor. So this is it. So I am going to make the injera ready. I'm going to show you how it look like first. Then I'll show you how we serve as yeah. well. I'll get the uh, cutting board out of your way. Yeah. OK, thank you. Appreciate yeah. So I lied. You will see me on screen one more time. <laughs> thank you. So this is injera. I just cut it half of it. We did it like about 15, between 12, 15 inch injera we do. As when we eat at communion, we eat like together all in the big platter. So we put all the sauce in the top. We don't eat individual. Mostly the culture or the traditional way is you just eat together and you use your hand when you eat the food. So the injera, it's not my best injera because this is a gluten free injera. No added the white flour or barley. So it's, I don't see a lot of bubbling, but it tastes good in your mouth. So I try to make just gluten free tonight and then it's happened this way. So injera is crazy. Depend the weather or the water or something is uh, where you keep it in the counter if it's too hot. So all this is affected. So um, it change. It doesn't mean you are making the best injera today. Next week it could be different. So this is injera. Almost but, like a sourdough bread. Yeah. Different depending on it's the weather. Sourdough bread. You ferment it for three days. In summertime you can ferment it for two days because it dries quick. Then if you think it's too rice, too watery, you can put it in fridge for a couple of hours. And yeah, it's a sour. Some people like it, some people they don't like it because the sourness, if you like sourdough bread, usually you like it. It tastes the same like the sourdough bread. Yeah, because this is about to get ready now. Turn, then we'll show you how you eat it. If you have any question, please let me know. I would yeah. love to hear from you. Now is a perfect time to put questions in the chat. Um, we have a little bit of time and then we'll show you how we plate it, show you how we eat it and wrap up for the evening and let you all get to your, whatever your time zone is. <laughs> I keep wanting to say dinner, but some people are not, not there yet. Yeah, it's about dinner time. The yeah. rosemary and the cardamom just came through really strongly. Exactly. Great. I can look at all my clothes, it smells that. Yeah. <laughs> That's my profile for tonight. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so in fact, the injera is our, uh, our meal every day. And we do every day fresh injera where I came from. So we eat it for lunch and dinner. This is our meal. Without injera, we cannot, we feel hungry. So except breakfast, you can eat breakfast too sometimes, but mostly it's lunch and dinner. You have to have this one. So we, yeah, like. Some people they have to eat rice almost every day, so this is <laughs> same thing for us. Um, this is looking good, and I'm going to show you how we put it in the injera, then how we can eat it. So you can cut it half injera like this, or you can roll a little bit. I can show you how I meant by rolling. Maybe half of it I can roll this one. So um, usually you can put half or quarter in the roll. So if you put all the dishes, if you cook two dishes or three dishes, you put all the sauce in the top. So the extra injera you put roll in, you use it as a scoop. You don't need utensil. You just need your hand to eat. And the food tastes good when you eat it with your hand. For <laughs> me at least. Agreed. Yeah, so this is it. This way, then you can put a couple of jalapeno. Give it good heat. There you go. You don't mind if I taste it, Karen? Do it. Go for it. it. Okay. Yep. So this is we do. Just cut injera from the piece of in the side. Just pieces. You can have bigger. Depend how much you want to bite. So this is the food. I hope you like the way I do it. I hope you will try. So this you do it. Mmm, excellent. I love it. <laughs> Even though I cook myself, I like it. <laughs> so, 
I hope you're going to try this dishes in the kitchen. And it's very simple. If you have any question, you can email me or Terry or myself. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming tonight. And uh, hopefully, I will see you around. Yeah, and so you can see just how fast and easy that was. We're just past six o'clock. So that was an amazingly easy, fast yeah. weeknight meal. Um, I will leave the chat open for just a minute or two because I know that people are watching on a delay. And if they're furiously typing a yeah. question, I'm going to give it a minute to come through while we while we finish up. But yeah. um, we are so appreciative of Mulu coming and sharing her skills with us. We love her cooking. I love eating her cooking. Um, and if anybody has any questions for her, go ahead and put those into the chat now before we will wrap up and let people uh, go on to their evenings. The recording of this will get posted at a later date. We did record it. Um, it'll go up on our website along with all of the other classes. Um, and we're just on a little bit of a backlog right now in terms of getting stuff up from last year. Can't, can't believe I'm still saying that. You know, it's 2022. We're I know. Stuff and this year. month is going already 27. Yep. It's going fast. Enjoy whatever you do. It's mm -hmm. just time go fast. Enjoy cooking and eating. <laughs> That's what I do. I cook and feed people and then make me so happy when I do that. So yeah, even though I get paid. <laughs> yeah. Somebody has said, where's the recipe available? Um, I emailed it out to everybody, but I'm yeah. also going to work on when we um, when I go back to the website and do some editing, I might try to figure out a way to upload the PDFs of the recipes below each of the recipe video so oh, that people nice. can cook when they watch. So I will try to figure that out. I'm not a very techie person, so we'll see. But um, if you need any recipes, you can always email me too. Everybody has my email from this class. You can always shoot me an email and be like, oh, this class looked really good. Can I get the recipe? And I will go back in the archives and grab it for you. Um, everyone's just saying thank you. Not really seeing any other questions come into the chat. So I think we'll wrap up for the night. Thanks to Mulu. Oh, thanks to everybody for watching. And hopefully we'll see you at another City Market class with us soon. So Have a great night. Yes. Thank you for coming tonight, for giving me this your time. Hopefully you learned something from me. Keep, please try. That will make me happy. Hopefully I'll see you around Burlington or my pop-up dinner or takeout dinner or into the summer or being in Winiski Farmer Market if you don't see me in the winter. And have a good night. Thanks so much.